Hello everyone and welcome to the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I am your host Scott Fry and I may be fighting a bit of a cold here but we've got a great show for you today. Um, I can't tell you how many times I get the question, does it really matter what type of floss I'm using? Now normally I would just say, why aren't you using a water pick? And many of you watching the show know that uh, I'm pretty partial to water flossers because uh, a lot of the research shows that it's a more effective alternative to floss. But I realize a lot of you out there may not like using a water pick and prefer uh, to use floss instead. And if you are using floss, it does matter what type you're using. Not all the spaces between your teeth are exactly the same and certain types of floss are going to clean certain places between your teeth better than others. And fortunately, there's a really, really easy test that you can do at home to see what type of floss you should be using and where. Now, all you have to do is head over to your local pharmacy and get your hands on some unwaxed woven floss. Now, this may be difficult as I found out today. Uh, there's a lot of things that may look like they will be uh, woven floss, but you open them up and it turns out that they're not. Uh, the woven floss, the tradi traditional woven floss, looks almost like a miniature piece of yarn and it's fairly thick compared to the traditional ribbon floss that you find. And if you run into a situation where you may not be sure if your pharmacy carries any woven floss, best thing to do is to go ahead and pick up some Oral-B Super Floss and the Super Floss has a, a thick area that's almost exactly like the woven floss and you can just use that for this test. So after you've got your woven floss, what you're going to do is just go around and floss your teeth normally. And any area that you're finding it's extremely difficult to get the floss in between your teeth and the contacts between your teeth are really tight that it maybe causes the woven floss to fray just a bit. That's what we're going to call a tight contact area and instead of using woven floss for that area, you really need to be using uh, a different type of floss. So basically it comes down to woven floss is kind of the best floss that you can be using for normal contacts to somewhat loose contacts uh, where your teeth may be almost touching but they're not quite there. Uh, and you want to use that thick woven floss for those types of areas. Now any area that you found is really particularly tight, there's something out there called Reach Total Care Floss and what that has is some micro grooves and it's ribbon shaped so the micro grooves provide additional surface area so that way you can wipe away plaque effectively in these tight spots that you wouldn't be able to get something like the woven floss into which is really great. Um, so you want to also keep in mind uh, I know we've talked a little bit about in previous posts and I'm going to put the link down below for everyone. Uh, floss doesn't do a really particularly good job of cleaning concave areas that are sometimes in between teeth and we have a really nice post that lists all sorts of problem areas where the floss might not be doing a good job. And if you're not using a water pick which would take care of all those concavities between the teeth, you might want to go ahead and also pick up uh, some soft picks or some of these go-betweens that look like little uh, kind of pipe cleaners shaped like a Christmas tree and you can go into those particular problem areas where the floss might not be cleaning so well uh, and make sure that you're getting all your bases covered and you're getting a really good clean in between your teeth. Um, yeah, so go ahead, uh, I'd love it. Uh, if, you want to go, if you guys want to leave a post, let me know how the test goes. Um, Go ahead and pick yourself up some woven floss or some super floss and try it out uh, so that way when you're flossing, you're really doing an effective job and you're not just wasting your time because I know flossing is very difficult uh, and it's kind of a pain sometimes. That's why I like using the water pick. But you want to make sure that you're doing a really good job so that way you can have excellent oral hygiene. All right, everyone. See you next week.